Guys, I cannot stress this enough. If you're not building a personal brand in 2023, you're losing out on one of the biggest opportunities you could possibly take to honestly just free yourself, free your family and achieve that. Honestly, that's that generational wealth we're all freaking looking for guys please 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 adhere to what i'm saying please hear my warning and please start building a personal brand whether you're running a social media marketing agency an online coaching business it doesn't even matter what business you're actually running because a personal brand can genuinely benefit pretty much 99.99999% of all businesses. Think about it, with a brand, they've become, they're, there's so many benefits with, that comes with building a brand. Let's take a look at like t-shirt selling businesses. If you've got an actual personal brand, it will help with that. If you've got an online marketing agency or a short form content agency, it will help with that. If you're an online coach, we all know it will help with that. If you've got an online program, it will definitely help with that too. So please guys, please, please, please start building out a personal brand. In fact, guys, one of the biggest differences I keep seeing online in, in kind of like the sphere that we're in is what separates a lot of big businesses and a lot of people that are doing very, very well to people that aren't doing very well with their agencies, their coaching businesses, is that the people that are doing very well with their agencies and their offers and stuff like that and like coaching, they have a lot of eyeballs and they're able to garner enough attention and then turn that attention into actual conversations, calls, and then close clients, guys. So let's actually break down the benefits of, first of all, just actually what a personal brand actually can help with. So let's actually break down some of the benefits that comes with building a personal brand and why it's so important. Number one, the first benefit is that it can actually help you get paid three to five X more for what you're already doing just for the simple fact that you've got a personal brand, guys. How crazy is that? Just for the simple fact that you've actually got a brand, you can actually get paid more for what you're doing despite not changing a single thing in your service just because of the perceived value of your brand. The second thing is that clients will actually start seeking you out because you've actually got a brand and they actually come to you. The next benefit would be is that clients see you as an expert. So it's actually so much more easier to get them across the line and actually close them as a client. Another benefit is that a personal brand grows over time and actually compounds on itself or what I like to call it Kaizen's on itself. Kaizen, what you call a Kaizen brand, a brand that continuously improves over time. So it actually becomes easier even better and better and better. Another benefit is that when you actually start doing outreach for your marketing agency, your, your SMA, your coaching business, because you've got more and more people following you, you're gonna gain credibility, you know, genuine, if you've genuinely, you know, started building up an audience. And so it's gonna make cold outreach even more effective, which basically means you need to put less effort in to get more clients out because people are gonna start trusting your word more and more because you're actually building up a creditable, creditable brand and they keep seeing you. And one of the last but not least benefits when it comes to starting a personal brand is that it's a one-to-many channel, AKA, let's say you actually post a YouTube video or you've actually got some sort of reels that go viral, for example, or even if you just got a Facebook page, if you post one time, you've got many followers or many subscribers or you're building it up and you've got maybe a hundred, couple hundred subscribers or whatever it is, or followers or friends or whatever it is, whatever platform you're using, what that's gonna allow you to do is basically post work one time and reap dividends off it multiple times over instead of having to reach out to multiple businesses. Let me give you an example. If you're running a social media marketing agency right now and you wanna reach out to a thousand businesses, well, what, what do you have to do? You have to go out there, you have to find a thousand businesses to reach out to, qualify a thousand businesses, and then reach out to all a thousand businesses. Whereas if you've got like a YouTube channel and you're actually getting like thousands of views on your YouTube channel, or if you've got a reel and you boost your reels, for example, or if your reels are just gonna go viral, or your TikToks go viral, well, you're actually putting out one piece of work once and it's actually being seen by multiple people over and over and over again out to your audience. So it's actually what you call a one-to-many marketing channel, which is much more effective at scaling than one-to-one uh, marketing channels are. For example, a one-to-one -one marketing channel would be doing cold outreach or cold DMs or even just any sort of outreach that you need to do because you're only, when you do one outreach, for example, you call, call one business, you're only call, calling one business. You're doing one piece of work. You know, it's one-to-one -one output ratio is what I'm trying to say there. Whereas with a personal brand, it's one-to-many. Now, let's talk about how you actually go about building a personal brand. Okay, so first and foremost, guys, you need to obviously select a niche. And what I've noticed with a niche as well, and if you, have, if you don't know how to select a niche, by the way, guys, go watch one of my previous videos. What you can actually leverage, by the way, when picking a niche is you can leverage research such as John 
joining Facebook groups, joining forums, just thinking about the kind of like the overall niche that you're in and videos that you've watched and ideas that you've got in your head, kind of like set and hypothesis. But what I recommend you do, if you wanna start picking what you, I like to call a free dimensional niche, a niche that's not saturated, is look into the concept of Ikigai. Ikigai is basically a, it's almost like a Venn diagram with three different circles in it. Well, it's actually four circles in it. And it's kind of like based upon what you're actually passionate about. That I'd actually factor that one in last, by the way. What you're, what, what you're kind of like skilled in, what sort of experience you have, and what you can get paid for as well. So take a look into the concept of Ikigai, because honestly, that's one of the greatest ways to pick a niche. Not only that, but what you can also do is look back on my channel and start looking how to pick your niche when it comes to this. Picking a niche for you, like your social media marketing and you sell your coaching business, because that will actually help you out a lot as well. The next thing I recommend you do, guys, is come up with your own unique mechanism. For example, let's say you're jumping into the world of online coaching or in SMA. Well, what you want to do is actually start talking about your services over and over again. But what I want you to do is put a unique flair on it that basically separates you from your own competitors. Let me give you an example. Like in the marketing space right now, there's a lot of people selling online programs on SMA and how to start an SMA. I came into this in, into this kind of like wacky world of SMA and stuff like that. I got successful with a system that I genuinely use and took myself from point A to point B, a less desirable situation to a desirable situation. And the way how I did that was by leveraging Upwork and then moving that Upwork cash flow, that you know the money I was making off of Upwork into cold emails, and I called this system the hybrid system. So a lot of people started realizing that like all this cold outreach it works and stuff like that, but it, it rarely works. But there's a better way. So what I want you to do is come up with your own unique way of doing that same thing. For example, if you're working with online businesses, online coaches, and you're trying to help them scale to 25k per month, don't just offer them short form content. Offer them a proper holistic system where you're offering short form content into some sort of community and personal branding plus plus a personal brand and what that's going to allow you to do is come up with a nice unique name for it maybe it's called your personal brand accelerator program or something like that or whatever it's called make sure that you actually are offering some sort of unique take on what the market's doing something different something that separates you i've noticed that with personal brands that really helps a ton the third thing i recommend you guys do is pick your platforms very very wisely i want you to see where the majority of your actual ideal audience are hanging out besides YouTube. YouTube is a given, you have to start YouTube. If you're scared to be on YouTube, guys, just completely forget it, honestly, just, the reason why I say that is because honestly, you, you can either be scared or you can be rich. You can't be both. So make sure you just pick one, guys. So please make sure you're starting YouTube. And the reason why I recommend YouTube is like your first main pick. I think YouTube, honestly, and just Instagram, YouTube and Instagram in general, just go hand in hand. YouTube is kind of like a good place to collect new leads and get like organic growth going really, really quickly because you can actually get videos out there, short form, you know, shorts on YouTube. You can get people coming to you via like intent-based marketing. Intent-based marketing is, for example, Let's say you help real estate businesses, real estate online, you know, kind of like real estate businesses with their Facebook advertising. Well, what you can do is actually start dropping a whole bunch of YouTube videos on Facebook advertising for real estate businesses. And because they already have that intent, they're going to start looking at your videos when they actually start ranking for the keywords. So I've noticed that with YouTube, it has its own inbuilt SEO feature. So you can actually start intercepting people on their journey. For example, like I said, if somebody's really struggling with Facebook ads and they're a real estate agent and you start dropping Facebook ads for real estate agents, well, they're gonna click on your videos and start watching what, what it is they need help with. That's what you call intent based. For example, the way how you guys have probably bought SMA programs is that you started searching how to make money online. You came across the same cliche gurus and you went and bought one of their programs after watching their videos you showed intent and they ranked for a certain keyword that you was looking for at the time and that video was placed in front of you. You clicked on a video, it helped you out. You resonated with that person and then you eventually went on to buy their stuff. That's the exact same thing I want you guys to take and implement with your personal brand, but for your agency or your coaching business. It's the exact same stuff, guys. Think about it. How did you buy the last? If you've already bought a program online, you already know this works because you've probably Googled some sort of keyword like how to start SMA and you've come across some dude on YouTube, maybe even my program, and you've gone through my you know, videos, followed me, and you've actually ended up on a call with me, or you've ended up you know, just purchasing my program straight away. As you can see, this stuff works, and this also can work with your agency as well. So if you guys want my recommendations, my recommendations would be to pick YouTube, and Instagram, YouTube is a good place for intercepting and building that SEO, that in, you know, using that SEO feature, that's really powerful. Not only that, but YouTube videos rank over time as well. So like videos from like two years ago, five years ago, are still getting watched on my channel right here today. And it's a one-to-many channel as well. With something like Instagram, Instagram is really great for get, going out there and actually doing outreach and getting clients coming to you. 
With YouTube, you can't really send somebody a DM. You can only comment and then that comment and will lead on to another social, social media platform, which I recommend YouTube. So what I want you to do is pick your platforms wisely. So YouTube and Instagram, I think those two are just going to be a given for 99.9% .9 of you watching this. So stick to those two right here and there. But if you're in some sort of different niche where your niche just does not use Instagram whatsoever, I can't even give you an example because pretty much every niche uses Instagram these days. But if there's a different niche out there that just uses LinkedIn more, well then you'll focus on LinkedIn guys. Now the fourth step of growing a personal brand or starting a personal brand and growing it would be to just grow some balls guys, grow some balls. Please stop talking about you're scared of being on camera. Please stop talking about you're not an expert. What I've noticed with these so-called experts out there that you're looking up to, the people that have actually gone on to start making a million a month and stuff like that, the people that we really start looking up to, for example, like Sam Ovens, he was, you know, back in 2018, I think he was making like over, I think it was 2019, 2018, making over $18 million a year with his online consulting business. And even he said himself, he started off not knowing anything, documenting his journey and just putting out content out there and stuff like that. And he genuinely just basically threw shit a wall until something stuck. Most business owners in this, you know, on, on this planet, started off just throwing shit at a wall and just waiting until something stuck, you know, from years and years and years of trying error. That's what business is. It's kind of like jumping out the parachute. I'm jumping out the um, air, the airplane without a parachute and building a parachute on the way down, guys. So please stop trying to make everything perfect. Stop trying to get everything like looking a certain way. Please stop trying to tell yourself that you're an ex not an expert and no one's gonna listen to you. People are going to listen to you. Even if you're just one step ahead of somebody, people will listen to you. In fact, just to prove my point, over here in the UK, one of the most popular TV shows is a TV show of people watching other people on TV shows. It's a TV show reaction type thing. You know those reaction videos where people are sat in their home and they're watching TV of other people watching TV? Like, I'm like, my God, if there's people so bored that they'll actually sit there and watch a channel like that and, you know, millions of people watch, you know, tune in to watch this show every week, there's definitely gonna be people out there that are gonna resonate with your message because you're at least doing something constructive with your life, even if you're at zero and you're completely broke. The next thing I recommend you guys do when starting your personal brand is just start with what you have. You see me with a you know decent camera, a nice microphone setup, some nice lighting, lights in the back. You guys don't need any of that. In fact, I implore you to go back to my very first YouTube video and take a look at how bad I genuinely used to look how I used to sound, how I used to stutter all the time. Oh, I still stutter to these days. I still hate the, the way I, how I sound, by the way. And by the way, you're never ever gonna feel comfortable on camera. Well, you, not all the time anyway. You're still gonna feel a little bit weird. It's still gonna sound weird when you hear your voice back. And it's going to feel weird of, you know, I know there's all those people that say like, you shouldn't put your face on camera and you shouldn't put business out there and evil eye this and evil eye that and keep your business private. Guys, look at everybody who's doing something big these days. Some of the richest people in the world have personal brands. In fact, the youngest billionaire, Kylie Jenner on this planet, has one of the greatest personal brands out there and she puts business out there. So guys, what does that indicate to you? Look at Alex Hamosi, look at Elon Musk. He's like literally a personal brand these days. He literally has like a huge personal brand these days and he's done wonders for him. He's done wonders for his businesses like SpaceX, Tesla, all of his businesses. So please, please, please don't listen to these people that are saying don't put your business out there online. And please, please, please stop it with this perfection paralysis crap, guys. You don't need to be perfect. You don't need the perfect setup. You don't need the perfect mic. You don't need a perfect camera. What I want you to do is start with what you have. Start with your iPhone or whatever phone you're basically using because that's genuinely how I started. And like I said, I implore you to go back to my very first video. Watch how I started because it's literally just me on a couch with an iPhone recording and it being stacked up on a box. I didn't even have a friggin' iPhone stand when I first got started with this stuff, guys. So that's how I recommend you kind of like start with your personal brand. Now let's talk about the actual logistics of it. So what I recommend you guys do is start off by posting at least three YouTube videos a week. Your first video should just be you documenting who you are, where you're from, what this channel is gonna, what your channel is gonna be about, and basically what you're, you're, you're basically gonna be offering. Then start dropping any sort of like case studies, um, stories, case studies of other case studies, just any sort of content. And the way you can come out with content ideas, by the way, guys, is you can use chat GPT, or you can go to people that are offering similar services to you in the industry, look at what their most popular videos look like, and then reverse engineer them to create your own 
spin-offs of, of those, but also make, mention your own unique mechanism inside of your videos. You have to have a unique mechanism. For example, mine with my whole agency coaching stuff or just online programs in general was the hybrid system. Nobody really you know heard of that. Nobody was doing it the, the way how I was doing it. I know a lot of people tried stealing it now and whatnot because it genuinely works. But long story short, guys, as you can see, there was a unique mechanism that separated me from everybody else. I need you to come up with your own unique mechanism. Now, the next thing I recommend you guys do is start dropping at least one Instagram reel slash short form content per day as well. So you wanna do three YouTube videos a week and then one short form content per day. It's only 30 seconds to 60 seconds long. And what I want you to do is post them on Instagram, TikTok, you don't really need to use TikTok if you don't want to. So Instagram, YouTube would be the, Instagram and YouTube, if you just focus on those two pl platforms, honestly, you can get to like 50K, 100K per month with your agency, with your coaching business. Honestly, you genuinely can, guys. And last but not least, guys, what I recommend you do is go back on my channel for the previous video. And what I want you to do is actually go watch that video back because then what they will actually do is it will allow you to basically learn how to do Instagram outreach as well and scale your business and get high ticket clients using Instagram outreach. Anyway, guys, please, please, please start your personal brand. I know this was more of like a relaxed sit back video, but I'm genuinely being serious. Starting your personal brand is probably going to be one of the most profitable, beneficial things you can do for your business. It doesn't matter what type of business it is. It doesn't matter if you're a social media marketing agency, whether you are a online coach or if you sell an online program, or if you're just running a service-based business, this will help you guys. And please don't start one of those personal brands where it's not you on camera. And it's like a graphic graphic kind of like Instagram page that doesn't work. And please don't be scared of jumping on camera, guys. You're never gonna feel ready. So you might as well just jump in anyway. You're gonna get judged either way. And, you know, and we're all gonna end up dead one day anyway. So you might as well live your life to the fullest. And personal branding, honestly, is just gonna help your business 10X more, guys. So that being said, guys, if you do need help with building out your personal brand, coming up with your niche, coming up with your offer, you know, scaling your brand organically and via paid ads, as well as putting appointment setters in place, drop me a DM on Instagram or click the link below to actually learn about kaizenbrand.io. That's a basically a platform. That basically, it's gonna help you guys, whether you're online coaches, service-based businesses, or even if you're running an agency, it does not matter which business you are in, especially if you're an agency, this will help you as well. But it will help you put together a personal brand for your business so you can actually scale to 25K per month and beyond with your business. Anyway, guys, don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.